Hi everyone, welcome to another crochet tutorial with me Laura and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a little puff stitch butterfly. And I featured this pattern on my Instagram account, if you want to go check me out on Instagram at Happy Bay Crochet, where I do share ideas that I'm coming up with and you get to vote whether I turn it into a video tutorial or not. So because I never know whether you want it as a video tutorial or not. So it's always worth popping over there if you've got Instagram and following me at Happy Berry Crochet. But let's start our little puff stitch butterfly and you can use any yarn for this project and any hook size. I just happen to be using a DK light wool stitch weight yarn and with that I've just randomly picked a three millimeter crochet hook so you can literally use any yarn that you like there's no rules so let's begin shall we so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to do a little slip knot of course get my hook do a little slip knot and what we're going to do is we're going to chain one to begin just chain one and then what we're going to do is we're going to chain three on top of that so one two and three so you're chaining four in total but those three there are going to be part of your first little puff stitch then what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over we're going to put our hook into the first chain and we're going to bring the yarn through and we want to bring up that loop to match the height of your chains okay so bring it up to match the height of your chains and then we're going to hold that in place and we're going to yarn over we're going to go into that first chain again bring the yarn through and again bring that up to meet all the other loops okay it'll gradually get smaller as you do this so do try and keep it nice and loose I'm going to do that a few more times we're going to yarn over go into that stitch again bring the yarn through and bring it up do it again fourth time bring the yarn through and we do it one more time so we're doing it five times in total okay one more time okay and you end up with I don't know how many loops you end up with one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven then what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over and it's a good idea to just hook your hook down point it downwards and give it a wig and we're going to bring it through all those loops like that and then we're going to secure that with a little chain one okay then what we're going to do is we're going to chain two one and two and we're going to slip stitch in that first chain okay that is our first part of our little butterfly and you can just pop it out like that and we're going to repeat those steps to do the other bottom half of our butterfly so we're going to chain three one two and three so just chain three this time and then what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over put our hook into that first chain again where your other puff stitches so go back into there bring the yarn through and again bring that up to meet the height of your chains we do that four more times so we do it five times in total so yarn over into that big chain hole bring the yarn up so that's two three, four and five. So we've done that five times in total. Then we're going to yarn over and we're going to bring that through all those loops. Get a wiggle. Then we're going to secure it with a chain one and then we're going to chain two, one and two and slip stitch in that nice big chain one hole slip stitch into there and again just pop out your puff stitch like that okay so that's going to be the bottom half of your butterfly what we're going to do now is the top half so we're going to do a very similar thing but just make it a little bit bigger this time we're going to chain four just chain one two three and four so chain four and then we're going to yarn over put our hook into the same hole again bring the yarn through and bring up that loop to meet those chains and you're going to have to work it a little bit to get that height the same as your chains okay and i need to get some more yarn <laughs> it keeps getting caught okay and then we're going to yarn over and just holding that into place you might want to keep your finger on it there you're going to go into the stitch again that first chain and bring the yarn through and bring that up to meet it I'm going to do that three more times, so yarn over, 
hold it, hold it into place, grab the arm, bring that up. Okay, do that twice more. So we do it five times in total. Once more. And there we go, we kept a lot of height on that. Then we're going to yarn over, bring it through all those loops and secure with a chain one. Okay, so that's nice and big. And then what we're going to do is chain three this time. One, two, and three. And we're going to slip stitch in the center, this first chain hole. Slip stitch into there. And then we're going to do the other side. So we chain four. One, two, three, and four. We're going to yarn over. And then we're going to go back into that chain again. Being careful not to catch any of these other parts of your puff stitch and bring the arm through and we want to bring that up to match the height of those chains. It's important to get that right the first time because it will set the height for the rest of your puff stitch. I'm going to do that four more times. I'm going to yarn over, hold that in place, go into that first chain again, bring up that loop, do it three more times, two more times, and one more. There we go. So we'll do it five times in total. Then we're just going to yarn over, pull through all those loops, secure with the chain one. Then we're going to chain three, one, two, and three, and slip stitch in that big chain one space in the middle. Oops, I missed it. And there we go. Then what we want to do is we want to get some scissors and a yarn needle. Get some scissors and a yarn needle. I'm going to cut our yarn. And then just pull that through and then we're going to take that tail end, sew it to the back. So we're just going to go through the middle. Tail ends the other side and then just pop out your puff stitches and turn it over. And what we're going to do is we're going to feed these two tail ends up the side and through that little chain there. Okay, let's bring that through gently. Careful not to pull too tight or to catch any of the other fibers, any of the loops. And do that with the other one, the beginning tail end. Just bring that up through the other side. And then these are going to be these little antennae, feelers, whatever you call them. Turn it over, and there is your little puff stitch butterfly to go with all of our other little puff stitch butterflies. And there we go, really quick, cute puff stitch butterfly and these smaller ones are done exactly the same but I've just used a thinner yarn and a smaller hook and made them in the exact same way and then I've got some really tiny ones here used with some crochet thread there we go hope you enjoyed that little quick tutorial don't forget to follow me on Instagram so you can also vote for what tutorials you would like and I'll see you soon for some more crochet fun thanks for watching guys bye